What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about an error I've been getting on one of my machines that's mining on Cryptex. So um, I reached out to the developers, they already reached back out to me, which they're super quick with their support, but let me show you the error and then let me show you what they told me to fix it and we'll see in real time if it actually fixed it. So switching screens over here, I'm remoted into this machine right here that has a four core Xeon and a GTX 1660 Super. As you can see, the most profitable algorithm on that 1660 Super is uh, XTM. So that is doing easily a dollar more uh, per month than Raven, Clor, anything else. So the fact that it won't run is not great. Um, what it looks like is here, let me show you on the dashboard on the actual machine. It says devices disabled and then it tries the mine and then it goes back to devices disabled and it just keeps flashing that back and forth. If you turn it off, turn it back on, that doesn't do anything. If you restart the machine, that does not do anything. Also, I did disable Windows Defender, which I haven't done on any other machine just to see if it was Windows Defender doing this and that did not fix it either. Now, if you click on the uh, settings cog and go into the drop down for the XTM, it looks like it's saying uh, the LOL miner and an application, hold on, wait for it, an application control policy has blocked this file. So I did already set uh, Cryptex to launch as an administrator and that did not fix it either. So that's when I reached out to the dev team because I'm like, hey, I tried what I know, what do I do now? So that's when they told me to um, update the application first and then if that doesn't work then uninstall and reinstall the application because it has a built-in policy control feature inside the application and something internally is blocking it um, and they said this has uh, been enabled by them from the beginning that way in case there is a malicious copy of a miner that gets released but maybe it doesn't get found out till later on etc it is a security feature built into cryptex that's blocking itself essentially so the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and uh, update we are on 5.3.1 on this machine and there is definitely an update for this machine it is let me drag this over here for you guys and i did have a power outage so a lot of my machines are actually down right now uh, but you can see right here on your dashboard, cryptex.com, when you log in, this is rig number one, Xeon 4-core 1660 Super. Um, and it, right here, it's got an update available. So let's click update, uh, new update 5.3.1 beta. Um, let's go ahead and run that. Boom. Update. And... I, th I think that's all we need to do. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really updated... Um, any of it, this says it's on 5.3.1 already. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. If it's mismatched on the update side. Let's refresh this page. So rig number one. Oh, it's not online anymore. Uh, connected to, um, Cryptex. Is it still online for me? Oh, there we go. So it is installing that update. Evidently, it was not actually on that 5.3.1 because it's installing something or updating something. Um, maybe that was my issue. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and install that update. So now we are... Uh-oh. Some of this has been app blocked. Parts of this app have been blocked. What have we blocked? Windows Security. VK Swift Shader DLL DX Compiler. Oh, there's lots of things that got blocked right there. Hmm. I will definitely let's see if the application works like it should. And then if it doesn't, I'm definitely going to be reaching back out to the Cryptex team. They have been super, super communicative and um, very quick to either you know fix the solution or provide uh, a known fix for the solution now this thing's already got xm rig running let me minimize this and relaunch it i am this this machine we are remoted into this machine so that does make things 
sometimes not appear the best. Like I'm not getting any display. Yep, Cryptex is running in the background. Let's make it run in the foreground. Hmm. So I'm not getting any display on that. And it looks like the only thing that's running is the Monero miner. Let me, I'm going to restart this system. And we'll be right back. Okay, I just restarted and now I'm launching it and I'm getting a ton of Windows security has blocked these things. So uh, I'm going to do what they recommended second if updating did not fix it. I'm going to fully uninstall Cryptex and I am now thinking that this issue may have arose whenever I had my power outage. So we had a power outage last night. It got pretty cold. It's normal for North Carolina. We Power is not necessarily the most stable in my area. We're out in the boonies. But um, something may have got corrupted on the Cryptex install because no other system's doing this. So let's go here and let's go to uninstall, add or remove, add or remove programs. We are going to uninstall Cryptex and then reinstall Cryptex. So I can't even, if, if that's the case, if uninstalling and reinstalling uh, fixes it, then it's probably most likely definitely happened whenever that power outage happened. Um, and I, I can't even blame them for that. That's, that was on me. So are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. Cryptex is running. Okay. To close it. Yes. Let's close it. And then I'm going to re-download it. So that way we are on the newest copy. Um, yeah, it's still Windows security is still blabbing off about something with Cryptex, which Cryptex is now gone. So, we are going to go and re-download our Cryptex. This computer is just so slow. All right. K-R-Y. Come on. You got this. There you go. Download. Oh, it looks like it's the same exact EXE as before. So it looks like latest V5. We'll launch that one. All right. So I am going to install this and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so uh, I reinstalled Cryptex and it's still like the whole application is not working correctly. The GUI isn't loading. Um, so I talked to support and they were like, hey, something potentially happened to that computer. So I'm doing a full reset on this computer. Um, it's going to remove all personal and user accounts, remove all changes, all apps. It'll download and reinstall Windows. Um, yes, 3.29 gigabytes. So we're doing a full, full reset. Um, and then we will be back. Uh, I'll have to go plug this into a display because it will no longer have a Chrome remote desktop on it. Um, but yeah, interesting. Very interesting. I imagine something got messed up when the power went out. That is unfortunate. That's why it's nice to have machines on a battery backup even if it's for a short amount of time but anyway guys um i guess this is gonna conclude today's video um because i imagine once i download and reinstall windows it's gonna be fixed right definitely because all my other machines are working correctly anyways if you had this problem and you found a fix or a different fix for it or a different problem, please comment down below and let me know. With that being said, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all have a good night and adios.